Hello, this is Geo. Hey, look what I have here. This is actually a window screen, a window screen to a small window, but as you can see, it has seen better days. And so we're gonna fix this screen today. So what we'll need for this project, of course, you'll need some, uh, some additional screen. This is some extra strength screening here. Uh, this is 36 by 84 inches. Uh, you can get it in various lengths. You'll need some screening spline, as you can see here. This actually goes in. This actually holds the screening in place. As you can see here, there's some screening spline in here. And then you'll need a rescreening tool, which looks something like this. They come in a variety of sizes. Some of them are metal. Basically, it, it has a wheel up on top, as you can see here. And as we focus in here, you can see it, it's kind of U-shaped at the top, and that is to fit the, uh, the, re -screen, um, the screening spline. And then you'll need a little uh, razor blade to cut the screening or trim the screening after you insert it into the frame. So you can normally just kind of pull on the screen and then the uh, the screening spline will pop out. But this it's kind of tough and it's not really coming out easily. So if you kind of focus in on the corners, as you can see here, uh, you can see the rubber uh, spline is kind of wrapped around there. But on this corner here, it looks like it's it uh, the spline kind of stop starts and stops so if you sort of just get a little tool maybe a screwdriver and try to just pry out the corner of the spline it, it's it's in pretty bad shape but then once you have the corner you can just kind of pull out all the all the spline itself and then the screen will just come out with it and there's the old spline. Now I do have to kind of wash this frame. This was near a basement, uh, in a basement window and near the, uh, near the ground. So it's pretty dirty. Uh, here's this tab that just came out. It's shaped like that. And it just kind of gets held in with the spline. So I'll go ahead and wash this frame out in preparation for the new screen. Well, I got a little bit cleaner. It is pretty darn old and stained, so I couldn't get it as white as I wanted, but basically most of the dirt is off. Okay, so with everything cleaned up, what you wanna do is take your screening, and uh, you could either cut it uh, slightly larger than the frame, or you can just keep it in the roll and just kinda, you're gonna be trimming it anyway, so you might as well just kind of like keep it in the roll and kind of lay it over your frame. Now you will notice that the mesh in the screen is, you know, kind of in uh, kind of north, south, east, west direction. And you want to try to line up that, uh, the, the, the mesh in the same direction as the frame. You don't really want to go crosswise like this. It won't hold as well and of course it won't look as well. And then with it, generally align the way you want it to be. Again, you want to leave yourself some additional mesh. Uh, you're going to be trimming that off at the end. You want to take your spline and uh, you could either use a screwdriver or the end if, if your, uh, if your um, tool has a little end like this has. You can just use that and just kind of pick a corner and and start at one corner and just kind of push it in as far as it will go just like that and then you're going to take your wheel end and you're going to kind of keep it taut and and try to keep the uh, mesh in line you know again the north south east west direction uh, so it doesn't kind of go cat a corner uh, you just want to keep it a little taut and then you just take your roller and just roll it in firmly, inch by inch. Now, if it's a little tight like this one is, you can also take a screwdriver or the end of your tool and just kind of poke it in like this, little by little. That'll also help you prevent running over your finger as you do this.
And then when you get to a corner, you just kind of want to pull it tight and kind of loop it around that corner so it'll fit in nicely around the corner. Like that. And then you just want to make sure that you've uh, this, the direction of the mesh kind of matches your frame again. And that will keep it nice and neat. So now that we've done two sides, the third side becomes critical because you want to, uh, to keep the screen taut as you move forward. You want to make sure that it aligns properly. You want to pull it both in this direction and keep it taut in this direction. And following the, if you have an even line on the other side, uh, you could follow the line of the mesh on this side and hopefully it will remain taut. So you just want to make sure you have enough pressure as you go to keep the, uh, the mesh taut so it will look nice and perfect. And so hopefully by the time you reach the fourth side, uh, your screen is generally taut and you're just following the mesh line all the way down. You're probably pulling a little bit on this side, like that, and just working your way up. You don't wanna pull it too much this way because if you pull it towards the beginning of your, um, your, your, your spline, uh, then you might actually form a buckle at the end and it'll look like a little crease. And so instead of pulling this way, you want to actually pull this way just a bit. But uh, all you really have to do is follow the line of the mesh, make sure that it uh, is in the little trench, and you should be good all the way to the end. And don't forget, as you move forward and as you put the spline in, it actually is pulling the mesh uh, inward, so it's tightening as you go. And then just at the end, you just have to take some scissors or your razor blade and just kind of snip the end. I prefer scissors so I don't accidentally cut the, uh, the mesh and then just tuck everything in just like that. Make sure everything's secure. Now you might be thinking, hey, wasn't there a tab you were supposed to install? And you are right. I forgot the tab in the haste of making this video. And here it is. But I can uh, correct that. You just want to get to one of the corners that you start uh, where the tab needs to go. You just need to pull up very carefully a corner of your spline. Kind of pull it out until you kind of in the position where you want the tab to go. Now the tab goes on the opposite face of your of your screen, so it kind of sits in like this, but on the other side and gets tucked in underneath the mesh and the spline. So you want to go underneath until it's kind of sitting underneath both of those. And then I will just carefully kind of pull everything back into place here and then tuck everything back in. Okay, so now for the trimming. Now you want to do this gently. You don't want to accidentally cut your mesh or uh, scratch your frame. So what the best way to do this is kind of let the, the blade do the work. So you just want to kind of cut a little bit and as you go, you just want to do it very lightly 
and kind of cut every little thread. There we go. And just go lightly on the outside of your, of your spline all the way around. And there you go, that is your completed screen. Nice and taut and looking good, ready for your window install. And although this is a small screen just for demonstration purposes, larger screens are the same concept. You just go slowly following the screen mesh and you will get a nice looking screen at the end. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please hit that like button at the bottom of the screen and even consider subscribing to my channel. I have many more videos to come. Bye-bye.